And this morning on today's Friday Whip, ways to save as you send the kids back to school. We've got four experts standing by with great ideas. Let's begin with Kim Clark, U.S. News and World Reports, education senior writer. The magazine's out with its annual college guide. It's filled with all kinds of money-saving information. Kim, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Let's start off. you got a college-bound student. Sell the car. Right. A lot of students say they need a car to get to a job. But the colleges point out if they didn't have the car expenses, they probably wouldn't need to work so hard and they could study a little harder. So if you sell the car, you save money on insurance, campus parking is expensive, Gas, and of course, the whole thing. maintenance. We figure the savings are maybe $6,000 a year. Let's talk about living on campus in a dorm room. Look for a triple occupancy room. Well, one of the reasons college has gotten so expensive is that dorms are a lot nicer. You know, you see suites and single rooms. If you're willing to lower your standard of living a little bit and maybe live in a double, triple, or quadruple room, you can get big discounts. How can you save money on the meal plan, the college meal plan? Well, you have to buy the right meal plan. If you're going home every weekend, you don't need the 20 meal plan. Buy the 14 meal plan. And you need to be disciplined about snacking. You know, you order that late night pizza, it's 10 or $20 a night. You know, so that it really adds up. If you can eat your meals in the cafeteria, you can save money and not gain the freshman 15. And finally, real quickly, find a cheaper way to earn credits. Right. Actually, people don't realize that there are two tests out that are widely recognized by colleges and will give you credit. And these tests cost less than $100. One's cost called CLEP, and the other one's called DSST. You take four or five of these, English, sociology, you can save a whole semester's worth of tuition. Great advice. Kim Clark. Kim, thank you very much. You bet. Let's go check in with Hoda. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Amy Goodman knows how to scoop up the uh, bargain basement prices. She's from All You Magazine. It's time for supply shopping. It is. It starts now. We're in the heat of it. But as the months progress, you'll get deeper and deeper discounts. Um, the thing to know is to know when those sales start. Some right. start midweek, some start on the weekend. Speaking of sales, you're not going to, I want you guys to realize this area right here that Amy has brought us, all of this. 95 cents. From how? Well, it's from Office Depot, and stores like that, they're having weekly back-to-school sales now. 95 cents. Four of these items are th free. Nothing is over 25 cents. It's a great deal. This sale starts Sunday. How do you get free items? Well, it's honestly, they're offering these folders. You just walk in, you put them into your basket, and you can get it. So it, it, if you waited until the first day of school or after, do you think you right. find even better deals than we're seeing right here? Yes, especially for things that are more high-ticket items. You know, you can say, wait and get even a better deal. All right, so if you go to places that are unconventional, places you don't expect to find school supplies, like a Toys R Us, for Right. You, if you get a backpack for $12.99 or higher, you get a free lunch kit that's up to a value of 10 bucks. It's a great deal, and they have lots of styles to choose from. Now, a lot of people like to buy in bulk at one of those big stores, lots of notebooks. Sure. Is that a good idea? It's a great idea, especially if you want to go in with another family mm -hmm. and split a ream of paper. But you can also get great deals a la carte from Walmart. These notebooks through tomorrow All are right. $0.15, cents, note cards for $0.44 cents from Target, full for a dollar, pencil cases for a dollar, and the gear to get you into the study mode from Kohl's. This is a lap desk How much? for a little bit over twelve dollars, a lamp for eight from Target, and a gorgeous Target. Japanese anime bag that the kids are going crazy for at Target, showing that you can have style and savings and school hand in hand. Right? Amy, terrific bargains. Thank cool. you so much. All right, let's go upstairs to Miss Ann Curry in the kitchen. All right, Hoda, thanks. I'm with Sunny Anderson. She's the host of the Food Network's Cooking for Real, and she's making healthy lunches on a shoestring budget. Sunny. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of yeah. people turning back to peanut butter and jelly because of, the, of these times, but you have an alternative. Yeah, I say graduate your kids from PB&J and mayo and mustard sandwiches and wrap it. Mm. And you can wrap it in a healthy way. Um, bread, to me, in the bread box, it doesn't last very long. So if you don't have enough kids to have sandwiches in that week, you're wasting bread. You're saying this was last going to last longer. Yeah. Put Less the tortillas ways. in the refrigerator. They last forever. Start with wheat tortillas, and it's even better. So what I have here is my dill hummus. Mm. And I like to spread that onto the tortilla with some lettuce cranberries and roll it up. The great thing about the dill hummus is hummus is very inexpensive to make. It's mm -hmm. canned goods, canned beans. Um, and you add to that just some olive olive oil, the fresh dill, and really it's not a shopping trip. Stick it in the blender and you right. basically, what you do is you just chop them up like this. You want to do mm -hmm. that because you Overnight. know I might hurt myself. <laughs> and, you, and you put them in, this is really interesting, she yes. puts them in these um, pre, what well, you bought, you bought something Sushi. in this, yeah. and then you wash it up and then you put your kids lunch It's a in great it. second use for it, and hmm. I think if we like packaging as adults, your kids are going to love the packaging as well. So take huh. it home and let them have a fun little lunch there. And as you point out, it's green. Yeah, it's green and it makes you feel really good. 
good about your carbon footprint. And there okay. you go, you got cute little rolls right there. Okay, all right, now let's move on. You've also got this little item here, which mm -hmm. is a, basically, what, a turkey burger? These are my tricolor meatloaf mm. and uh, peppers. And uh, the great thing about this is it's packed with vegetables, and then it's wrapped with vegetables. So the good thing about this is you make this the night before. The morning of, all you have to do is just cut out a little circle of bread there, and it's good to go for their sandwich. Sunny, we're out of time, but I want to quickly mention that she's also suggesting we freeze uh, fruit, freeze fruit, put them in a little baggie, and by the time they get to school, it'll be perfect. Thanks yeah. so much, Sunny, this morning. Thank you, Anne. And finally, computers have been a back-to-school must, but Al, the price can add up very quickly. Sure can, Anne, but doesn't have to. Sri Srinivasan is the technology expert and dean of student affairs at Columbia University's Journalism School. Sri, good to see you. To be here. Okay, so first of all, when you're looking for, for a computer for your kid, there are deals out there, aren't there? Oh, there are a lot of deals, but you really need to know what you want to do with the computer, and you want to sit down and talk with your kid to see what exactly they would like to do with it. There's going to be a lot of high-end gaming, or whether they should be out there trying to look for just something that's really portable and light. Are there certain things you can do to reduce the cost of that? Well, the first thing is that when you go into the store is to have your child be really comfortable with the computer so they know this model may be the right one for them, mm -hmm. and also really look at what kind of options they might be and on various kinds of discounts, especially printer discounts and software discounts. And these little netbooks pretty good deal. Yeah, right? this, this is the Dell Mini 10. This is the netbook, which means features are not as heavy packed, but this is a lot of good stuff on All here. All right, Sri, good advice.